Hey everybody and welcome to We Happy Few, a game, a first person adventure action game set in a 1960s retro futuristic city, drug fueled, everyone's on antidepressants or joy and it's all kind of weird and twisted and kind of fucked up and I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. it reminds me a little bit of Bioshock probably is a good comparison but with more survival action adventure elements going on. I have been playing about the game, but we're going to do a new game and I'm going to show you basically what's up with the game, what's going down with the game. It's available on Steam as of today on Early Access. It is an alpha. It is fairly bad and at the moment in terms of stuff to do, but we'll talk about that later on. It's available for, I believe, £22.99 UK poundages. Um, I have no idea what that is in the old dollarinos, but... You know, I don't know, three dollars maybe? I'm not sure after, after Brexit, no one knows. Anyway, let's do a new game, shall we? Um, so, um, I think I've played through the prologue already, so I, I think we'll leave it on anyway, just so you can see. Permadeath and, of course, Second Wind, they're on automatically by default when you start a new game, so we'll just keep everything as is. So, yes, it will overwrite my current progression, but I don't give a damn. I'm crazy like that. Duncan's books. Very good, very good indeed. Happy is the country with no past. Mm-hmm. Certainly is. Press the space bar to continue. I'll do that. Don't worry. So I did Orwellian vibes already. Censorship. Humming. Do doing. Mrs. E. W. Bauer wins a garden prize. Victory over communism, you say? Well, Cold War, you know. Has to be done. No swimming in the river. Oh, heavens no. Mm. Yeah, get rid of that shit. Censored! Should we though? That is the question, the eternal question. Now, it gives you a choice. I have no idea the weight that this choice has, but I ain't taking no goddamn motherfucking joy. You can shove your joy up your arse, the man, whoever the man, who is the man, whoever the man is, you can shove it up his arse. Anyway, let us remember. The whole premise here, to give you a brief rundown, is we're actually censoring shit from the past. <laughs> so we're going through like the archives and censoring stuff from the past, so basically history is deleted or changed to the benefit of whoever is running the show so to speak let's um let's remember fuck, fuck your joy i'll remember all day and all night on the floor fuck it in the floor there we go in the bin pussy pussy you been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since 10 o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a mug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. With a uh -huh. suspiciously happy face. Power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. Hmm. Indeed. Anyway, get our power cell. Stand the F up. And um, we'll, we'll do our things. We'll get our power cell. Of course we will. Grab that. And this is kind of giving us a brief rundown of... If there were an emergency... What are you saying? Would you be able to find the doorknob? Or should I tie a bright yellow ribbon on it? What'd you say to me? What'd you call me? You call me a knob? Anyway, let's sit down, let's place the power cell, and let's uh, restore. There is now a curfew in effect at night. Any civilian on the street could 
we have to accept the document. We're brothers. I'll always look after you. You know that. Now that I recall, you were a rubbish goalkeeper at school too, weren't you? How does she know? Well, uh, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Well, what have we got for you? Oh, We're... Wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I hmm. made her a welcome back card. How close do you have to be? This man needs a pair of glasses, I think. I don't even realise that we were, like, fucking face down. Like, literally, like, half a centimetre away from the screen. Anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll accept all the documents because I am a d rude motherfucker. Anarchy! In the office. I always say. Let it all through. Let the communism take over. I don't mind. Let them call me a pinko while I don't care. Approved. I, I didn't even read what it was. I'm just approving shit for the sake of it. Can I leave now? I think I can. Let's see if I can fuck work. Let's go and say hello to our friends. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Mm. Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Oh, Existential crisis. Hmm. Clive Birth Whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? Huh. I didn't see this the first time through. I'm learning things already. I've got new stuff. So, uh, the business letter reads as follows. Dear Mr. Uh, uh, Birth Whistle. It's so thoughtful of you to suggest how we best uh, to arrange the department. I'm always grateful for suggestions from junior staff. Hmm, indeed. Stabilizing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. Department is high. Prue doesn't return soon. I don't see why you couldn't have her office. Hmm. Changing things. Change the scenery always does you good in the office. Um, in the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy. Ah, he's always on about the joy, this Victoria. Always. I feel like they're trying to tell me something. Restricted area. No unauthorized personnel past this point. Ha ha! I get fucked. Anarchy in the UK. Um, what's going on here? Do you know what? I'm going to take your power cell. I hadn't I hadn't come in here before and that's a charged power cell that could be put to good use. Ah. One of your employees is subversive. That may even be a downer. Shit. He Ooh. wants my view. Thing is, he's kind of right. <laughs> totally a downer, man. All these goddamn anti-happies with our fake joy. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Hmm. Trying to send a message, are we? Um. The fuck is that? I've heard of a fruit basket, but why are there are they bananas? Were they supposed to be bananas, or are they? <laughs> Did someone like throw a fruit basket together and just throw in a couple of cucumbers just to you know? So they threw in a couple of cucumbers while they were listening to Judas Priest breaking the law because, you know, anarchy in the UK. Um, it's an empty power cell. I'll take it anyway. Grand prize winner. Simon Says Team Tournament. Annual double Dutch competition. What the fuck? You're not coming back, are you, Prue? Where did you go? Prue had the right idea. For sure. Because this place is creepy as all no. fuckery. Yep. It's a bit unfair. There's a, a a class and weight advantage here that this man has over this fella here. You creepy motherfucker. Any more things that I can view? Gotta check. You always check the stuff. Oh, central processing unit. The CPU. They seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mm. mention it. Not quite the the same strength as the CPU that we use nowadays, but you know, here we are. Um, hmm. There's not a lot of processing going on. Look at this wall length propaganda. Naughty. What? Well, bread 
What? What the fuck is this man? Right, you creepy clown looking fuckboy. What are you saying? Oh, I never noticed that. Hmm. We should fix that or empty the bucket at least. Um, what? These people are all out there, absolute banger. They're all fucking out their face. There you are. You nearly missed the pinata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the candy comes out. Ah. Uh -huh. Come on, hit it, hit it. Okay. Hit it. Don't mind if I do. Hit it. Yeah, that's a bit fucked up, isn't it? You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Not a fucking chance. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Why are they chanting? Don't chant. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. All right, let's do the old the old tutorial stuff. Crouch. Can I not twist the thing? No. Release some steam in their faces. Down. Oh. The old the old five. What's the Rosers run? It's fucking PC plod and his best pal run. Come on, open that door. Yeah, and then you go. Put that down. I'll fix you. Ow. It's not nice. Wasn't very nice of him. PC plod and fucking his pal giving me a hard time. <laughs> the old IDPD. Can't get rid of them. So yes, th that's effectively the prologue there that shows you what's going on. Sets up the tone for what we're looking at, what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a bunch of fucking basket cases. People who... <laughs> See, kids, don't take drugs. It doesn't do you very good. Good Everything in moderation. Christ. If you're doing it every day, you know there's a problem. I'm still alive. So we're in the oh, Wellington yes. Underground. Ow! Feels like I lost an argument well, with a train. What's going on today in the village of I can't go back. I've got to get out of here. It's the fuck boy again. None of your pish. We'll grab some medical supplies. So we've got some uh, Nexamide pill. We've got some Gilead petal. Some bandage. Very good. And it also gives us our first uh, recipe. We can, or, well, we already had one, but it gives us like a new recipe. So we get the healing kit, and we've got you know other stuff, lock picks, a variety of things. Our menu is actually pretty cool. I like the the design on the menu. Very stylish, very stylish indeed. So it shows you us, Arthur, Arty, gives us our vitals. We're on zero joy at the moment, which is fine. We don't want any at the moment. Um, seventy five health because we got battled upside the head by the five O. Um, we're getting tired by the minute. We um, we need some water and food at a later stage, but now we're fine, now we're fine. So we can look at inventory. In fact, do we have... Uh, yes, the inventory expansion kit. We should probably just... Ah, oh, balls. It's not what I meant to do. It's not what I meant to do at all. How does it right-click it and then do I just do E? No. Space. I've done this before. Oh, use. <laughs> there we go. Shows us some extra inventory slots in case we need. We've got bandage, we've got healing balm, jerky if we need to eat it, filtered water. Um, up here we've got our crafting, we've seen this already, we've got the map and then our, you know, our stuff that we can read. Notes and things. So we're trying to open the safe. No, no, it's fine. We can open the safe. Take some filtered water. That's going to be our stash. What does that say on it? Newgate safes. So main is broken. I have done a lovely job of breaking this door. I suppose I won't be getting out that way. Doesn't seem very alarmed. It's Mrs. Stokes. Mrs. Bloody Stokes. Mrs. Stokes is going for a bit of a ye olde noose. Um, well, let's search her. What you got on you? Not a fucking thing. And it looks like she's gone off her rocker. Quite literally. Um, so, let's pick up some scraps, some letters, some things. So... Gives you the stuff. Um, better uh, dankishuns, dankish, dankishuns. Yeah, that's that's that's. Thank you very much. 
Um, my memories are all coming back. It's horrible. I try to think only about nice things, but whenever I walk around, these old streets I can see her running up and down. Perhaps her child or something. She was so young, um, or maybe she's talking about herself, I guess. Practicing her, her German languages. Wonder where they took her and why she stopped writing. Or maybe it is her kid, I'm not sure. Um, I tried to think that Stanley would say, but he's no use at all. He never was. Poor Stanley. Probably the husband. Out his, out his mind as well on drugs and other things. Don't know much longer I can stand this. Um, this is where... Um, oh, this is that hatch on Appleholm. Okay. If only I could flee to the mainland. There must be some people out there. Otherwise, uh, did we trade for food with all... Wait, what? Who, who did we... Oh, who? Who who did? Who did we trade with? Um, but the bridge is in the par a parade at district, so the bridge. So the, the basic idea in the early game is we need to get to the bridge and get across the bridge and collect some stuff as we do that. I'm not going to read the rest of our shit. Mrs. Stokes, you're fucking loony. I don't even care. You talk pish. Chat shit, get banged, is what they say. So I need a, a way to unlock this. Maintenance doodad. It's a lot of pointy sticks. And some metal bits. So... The Caltrops and the enha the Enhanced Rock. The Enhanced Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Hmm. Um, we can probably stash one of these in here for now. Anyway, can I can I craft anything decent? Basic lockpick. Let's craft that sucker there. So I can then use it to V on this. Yes, yes, yes. And then it has, you know, a jimmy bar, some mechanical parts, some moldy bread, some stuff. Let's, um... Grab all of the above. Can I not just uh oh, balls? I, I guess I'd if my parents would be proud of me. One by one. Or would they be terribly stern? Strange meat. Indeed. Right, hold on, let's just make sure we've got this though. Okay, that is in our hand. So if we do wanna fuck shit up, we can get the old pointy stick out. Give him the old pointy stick. Apparently in air. There seems to be some sort of resistance there, I'm not sure what. So the game is in an alpha, it's newly on early access, there's a lot missing in the game, so to speak. Um, it's not perfectly polished, but it's playable, the frame rate is good, it's fine. So we've jimmied the, the, the safe house open, so we can now actually go outside and see the, the, the meats of the game. And do you know what, the game's actually really fucking pretty. I am fond of how the game looks. Now couple of things we can do. So, there's water. I'll, I'll show you this for a second. Um, we can drink from the water, but it looks fucking nasty. I wouldn't be drinking that shit too much. We can pick up flowers and materials and things. Now, the map should have a, a an Come indicator. On. We're old friends, aren't we? Where the fuck did you, you from the pub, don't I? come from? Alright, take one. I want you to have this. Really? Sometimes I wish I knew you well, then I could speak my mind and tell you. Maybe you'd understand. The meat hot. The meat Aha. Cold. But aye, there's a lot going on here. There's people that are off their fucking rockers. And we're going to go and we're going to... Let's, um... Well, firstly, let's go to the, the indicator. So we need to go this way. We'll go and check it out. We'll speak to some people. drink and be merry. For tomorrow, you may be in the garden district. <laughs> Oedipus didn't know what he was doing, but he tore out his eyes anyway, didn't he? Yes, apparently he did. I have no sources to, you know, to corroborate such information, but I'm sure he did. Fuck it. Everyone else is mental. I wouldn't be surprised if all y'all wouldn't be gouging your eyes out, you dicks. So, um... Now see here, young man, I pay taxes and I demand you let me through. looks the same. Like we're all there just pawns the on meet chessboard. I'm meeting for two, you we know. We don't want your sort around here. You're pregnant? Now see here, young man. Oh. I pay taxes. I don't have I any stew to you. give you. Leave me alone, lady. Leave me alone. Why don't you take the vanilla? You know it if you keep following me, I'll, I will I will kill you. I mean, I'll incapacitate you with my great stealthy snake skills. Are you really gonna follow me about? Imogen, right, we have to have a fucking chat. For two, you know. Now, I don't know... Friends coming over for tea. I, mustn't be late. I don't know if our takedown is gonna be um, particularly good for business. If all these people can see, Get you know. You. you fucking talking to, Rupert. Here, Rupert Dickens? <laughs> <laughs> there is some 
Would you? Oh, pass off. I'm I reading my phone. I'm reading my phone. Oh, don't sit on me! No! It's not the t In public? Madam? Madam, in public? Show some dignity. Put it away. <laughs> Put what away, game? <laughs> What's going on? Hold on. Now, see here, young man. I pay taxes and I demand you let me through. Shut off, you. Alright, if you want if you want a bit of nookie, just sell me and we'll go down an alley or something. Don't fucking... I didn't know Stu was a... Was a slang term. Right, finally she's leaving me the fuck alone. Honestly, lads, if a, if a girl sits in your lap, or a man sits in your lap, or ladies, if a man sits in your lap, or a girl sits in your lap, and they're fucking off their head, avoid the situation entirely. Don't think this is an easy one. Think this is the worst decision I'll ever make in my life. I'll tell you that for free. That's Tam's tidbit of the day. What we got? We got an onion and some feathers. Of course we do. Hello. Back off. Big Tam! Tam so Gibson. Are they all, all honourable men. What yeah. happened to the gardens? We used to have gardens. There's a fucking garden there. Open your eyes, sheeple. I'm going the wrong way. Going the wrong fucking way. After Imogen's advances, I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit scared. Who are you? Margaret Cumberbatch? This is not even my life. It's somebody else's. Why'd you take the vanilla? You know it doesn't work for you. Hmm. Indeed. Do I know you? Sometimes I wish I knew you well. Then I could speak my mind and tell you. Uh -huh. Maybe you'd understand. Ooh, a door. Mom, Dad. Anything? Yes. So we're just collecting crafting materials and things at the moment, um, as best as we can. Was that a rotten potato? Ooh. No fear. I'll steal all your shit. If you have any. So what do we get? We got a bunch of crafting recipes now we can probably have a look at. Dirty bandage, Jimmy Bar. Jimmy Bar could be interesting, useful at least. Do I still have the um, power cell? No, it's coming on. Or did they steal it from me? I think they may have taken it from me. The five O, the the Rosals, the police I may have. Um, mechanical parts. Because we're going to need a power cell at some point. Please just lie down. Right. Have you got? Oh, fuck! Put you down. Hold on. Have you got any shit on you? I'll just. Uh... Worth it. Worth it. I really love the soundtrack. One thing I'll say is that the music in this is, is absolutely beautiful. The, there's an eerie, wonderful ambient soundtrack going on in the background at all times and it's just it's just lovely. Ooh, a sovereign. Don't mind if I do. Mind the side effects. What was that? Ooh, but a big one. Maybe I should find a bed. The thing is, I don't want to sleep out in the open, eh? Filtered water. Um, I mean... Oh, there's an empty power cell. That's at least something. That's something we can work with. Ooh. Yes. Uh, just rest in my feet. Mm. So we need a bit of food and we need a bit of sleep. But that's fine. My inventory is probably getting all smashed up. Right, what I want to do is I want to let's go straight to the, the bridge. Have a look at it, then we'll go back to the safe house. And I think that'll do for the first episode. Yes, so if we continue this direction here. That that should be fine. I mean, we, we've got, you know, plenty of... plenty of beans in us yet. Oh, we can also collect some of these flowers, actually. I think there's the red ones we can get. And I believe they go into some sort of healing potion thing. <laughs> I have no idea. What do they, what do the Gilead leaves do? Craft healing balm. Yeah, healing potion balm. It's all fucking the same. One you drink, one you rub on your cell. Now you'll notice our stamina bar, uh, bar is permanently reduced until we sleep again. So we've had like a 10% knockdown or a 20% knockdown on that. Tough linen. Okay, here's the bridge. This is our... Uh... Oh no, this isn't the bridge, is it? Oh, this, this is one of the bridges. Huh. So I guess, because we're not on the happy pills, they threw us on yonder side of the bridge. So all the good stuff's over there. Except for the night. We would never know the stars. We would like to know, if you are, who you appear to be. Can you tell me kindly, who won Simon Says last Friday? Right, it was Harry, wasn't it? it uh, Harry... J Jones? Uh, Har Har Harriet? Uh, Larry. 
Uh, am I getting warmer? No? Get yourself back to the garden, you downer bastard. Alright, you fucking rosser. Come on out then. Come on, have I go? You bastard. Don't bastard me, I'll bastard you first. Um, so we've had a swatch there. Hmm. So I believe this is different to what I've experienced before. Interesting. So before, um, it asked me to get a power cell and some joy and to get fucked up. Now it's telling me to go and grab the fucking to do stuff. How very interesting. So at least we have a, an idea of what we need to do. We've got a password. We need to find out who one Simon says. Do I care who one Simon says? Not a fucking no. No. Who does? Who cares? Also, mysterious chest was added to your journal. Hmm. Is that even on the map? Hmm. I'm not sure. But I love just walking about this place. It looks fantastic. It's all ruined and... You know, people are... People are surviving. They're getting by, but just... So I'm grabbing all this shit because I feel like it could be useful. When we get to the point of, of Crafterino. And what we'll do is we'll stick most of it in our... I mean, look at that mist. Beautiful! Absolutely gorgeous. But aye, we're gonna go and um, slap our stuff in our chest and go for a wee sleep. A man in house, ruined house. And, and I think we'll spend some time probably in the next episodes, you know, wandering around, getting ourselves some. Oh, that's a night bloom or a night something glowing in the dark. We wanna get a shovel as well. There's a lot we can do. Night blooming, indeed. Grab some of that shit there. What do you do when the memories come back? You deal with them, you learn some coping mechanisms. Coping skills, very important, is what you do. You know? You don't run from your problems, you uh, you face them head on. Phone boxes, you know, a familiar sight to me, because we see these all over the place. Coin box. Can I force the coin box? Ooh, I can. People might see me, but I don't care. Got some coins. Hmm. The rabbit has lost his watch. The taxi has arrived. The taxi has arrived. The fox is in the hen house. All right. They be in hell. They just don't let you sleep. So you don't get enough sleep, uh, yeah, you run out of breath faster and people chasing you. Um, then the people chasing you, that gets awkward. Yes, yes, that's why we're going to go and have a, have a little bit of sleep now. We're going to go to our safe house and basically just end the episode there. This gives you a brief introduction to... To We Happy Few. A game that I think, once it comes to full fruition, is going to be superb. If they can work out the quests... And at the moment there's a lot of really... Boring quests... No, very generic quests is the right way to put it. There's very generic quests and there are bugs, you know, like like Imogen want a, a swatch of the old, you know, the old by Tam. Uh, but it's not the most polished game, but it has a core of game here that I really think will be special. Oh, I need to be getting down in there. Um, where's me? Not with an attitude like that, we haven't. Where's my father? It's there. It's there. So, as long as no one's looting, let's get in the safe house, get it done. And um, I think we'll end the episode here. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff. And of course, let's go for a sleep. And of course, I will see you next time. Sweet dreams, Arthur.